Hello YouTube, Dogfoot9 here and welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. And today, starting off as usual uh, in the inbox, well not as usual, it's not always in the inbox, but we're not playing a game straight away. Um, unless I do finish off, obviously, I am um, on the squad selection um, window in the previous episode. But um, starting off here, we get news of that Carl Jenkinson has received an injury during training and he's going to be out for two months which um, on FIFA 13 if you've got a training injury it would only be like a couple of weeks but two months is quite a bit and especially when our centre back um, and right back and left back position, well defending positions um, are like really pulled out wide and we haven't got really too much um, like cover for those positions and um, then we're going to have to, we're going to be struggling a bit. I might have to pull back and um, bring back a couple of um, maybe one centre back uh, from loan to be able to cover um, the position because I'm going to start moving Jerome Boateng um, into that position um, when Bakary Sagna isn't fully up to fitness because I think it will give maybe um, Boateng more experience because I'll be able to play more obviously and also it will allow me to play um, some, um, some more centre backs, it will allow me to play Daniel Boateng um, and stuff like that but the dis disadvantage of that is I won't be able to play with a fully fit squad because it will either be Jerome Boateng playing or Bakary Sagna playing and those two are one of my two best Defenders and they've um, Bakary Sagner, he's got experience and he's quite good overall. And Jerome Boateng, he's got quite, quite a bit of experience too. And also, he's going to grow and he's 81 rated now. So, he'll probably be a future captain or a future main centre back. And I need to be playing him with other good players because otherwise, he, you know, he's not going to be pushed and things like that. So, if he's just get easily getting into the squad, then he's just going to be, you know, not putting 100% effort in because he's going to be thinking, you know what, I've got to play some squad every week um, and he's not going to be trying. So, I might need to pull back. Um, bring back another centre back from loan. Don't know why I say pull back because it's like saying I'm moving him back in position. Um, but also, um, one position which I'm really doing well in is that midfield position. I've got Royce, um, Nabry, Michu, um, and Walcott, Oxide, Chamberlain, Kelvin, all those um, Podolski, all those really good players who I could play in my wing. But I'm not just I'm just not having the time. So I want to probably. Um, probably going to put a couple of my younger players out on loan in the January transfer window um, just let me know in the comment section below which players you would like me to um, put out on loan if you'd like to see any out on loan if you wouldn't then just say don't put out any on loan and I'll try not to but they're probably not going to get, get that much game time um, unfortunately and I've got some really good talent there like Nabry um, and Mayachi especially he's gonna he's been really good for us recently when I've been playing him but also I've just signed Kelvin alongside Chamberlain and um, well Kelvin and I don't think give it, putting him out on loan would be very good for him so um, I might put a couple of my younger players like Nabry I might put on, on, out on loan um, maybe even Oxide Chamberlain because Oxide Chamberlain you know he's not grown for us so I might try a different tactic on trying to improve his overall I might put him out on loan but he's still a very good right um, right wing he's practically my backup one after Walcott um, and it's a bit like Podolski is now Podolski has been kind of pulled back position even though I do like to play him because he does things like that um, for us against a, such a big team like PSG and it's always good when you get to see some of your older players are scoring for you not just your new signings because it gives you a bit of confidence in the current in the squad that you have because if it's only your new signings which are scoring then it's going to be a bit bad and you know you might feel a bit let down but anyway Gibbs getting hit in here a bit of a late cross he just gets it in and Oliver Drood uses his head with a heading which is so overpowered in this game one of the reasons why I don't actually like playing ultimate team because everyone knows to cross um, and that's because of heading is so overpowered so you know give me your thoughts on ultimate team as well I'm going to be trying to do ultimate team player reviews but at the moment players people just who seem to be doing over the top through balls and crossing and that's the only way you can really score and maybe be able to finesse shot like I'm going to do here with Podolski coming back inside using his amazing long shots as we know um, from the old career mode and getting us another goal there to make it 3-0 against PSG and we're doing our business early here because it's 34 minutes in we scored there and then a bit later on in the game we decided you know to play a bit more defensive and um, Royce on the ball here passes it back uh, to Sagna and nearly getting set to there with Lovetsy and if he'd have got it, we'd have probably been broke against and um, but Urzel gets it out to Giroud Giroud shoots and Giroud scores and that's a really quite a nice goal there the keeper should have probably saved it or parried it away but I guess us another goal and makes it 4-0 and that's 2 for Giroud and 2 for Podolski there so 2 well, really good strikers or really good attackers in my team there. And I didn't need Nicholas Bentner, which has been, um, well, I've needed Nicholas Bentner quite a bit of time. Um, Jeremy's career had scored me like the clinical goal and um, things like that, but I didn't really need him this time. So, 
just getting into the next bit here, and we are preparing for a game against West Brom, um, and West Brom, they are quite a strong team, as you know, and they did hold us 1-1 um, when we played them this time this season, but I'm just looking through a couple of players here, and as you can see, that Rafina, I've already got loads of wingers, I've been telling you guys about it, but you know, so tempted to try and get young, good players in, and um, he doesn't even have a face or anything like that, but he looks like he's got really good overall, and as you can see that, I'm getting out, looking at that centre midfielder, um, who um, I could get um, in that position but you know I've just got to inquire about him and stuff like that and I'm just changing around uh, some of my uh, player positions and things like well play it what I'm searching for in players making them a bit more broader so I'm getting more um, information about some players um, especially younger players because at the moment um, no, hardly anyone knows about younger players like special stats and stuff like that um, in game so I'm just looking around really like quite vaguely trying to get as many players as I can um, scouted and as you can see here just getting ready for our West Brom game, and I think that's another person. Well, it's Jenkinston still obviously injured, um, and obviously when you're injured, you don't really um, get your stamina back. So hopefully he'll come back like just after after the end of the game, so he can actually regain um, some of his stamina. Stamina. Um, but I'm just looking at some of my centre back options here. You know, looking who I'm going to play, looking who I'm not going to play, and it also means that um, now because I've got. Um, I'm using one of my centre backs as um, so a right back. I can't actually like have a fully fit replacement on the bench, so I'd have to bring on someone um, who's like not full stamina or full fitness. Um, so I can maybe cause a problem for us, but I don't think it will cause too much of one because we have got some quite solid uh, scene DMs here, like Diaby, who I'm putting on now because I'm gonna have to play like that now for a couple of months because Diaby. You know, he's a really he, he kind of acts like a centre back sometimes now. And now that I'm putting like younger, um, less experienced centre backs into the squad, um, I'm gonna have to stop doing things like that. I'm gonna start playing a bit more defensively. And uh, that might cost us some points. It might cost us some wins. It might mean we have to go to extra time or something like that um, in a match. But it's better than losing. And um, but also, you know, having players on low fitness who are good can be quite bad as well. And um, so getting into this game against West Brom, I was expecting to win. Um, just as expected to win maybe by 1-0 and if I win by 1-0 I'll be happy because West Brom they can really cause some problems both in real life and in this game because they have got quite a good um, defence um, and I don't um, well the defence in real life is quite good but one of the players today was in form I think I can't remember um, not in real life but actually in the game it kept on popping up and saying he's going to like just always be able to defend against um, us here, but Mikel Arteta um, gets on the ball, doing a bit of work here out to Wilshire, and Wilshire he's going to pass it across here after doing a bit of dribbling. Now he's actually going to shoot, and Walcott slides in, gets it in off a the player there. It did hit the centre back, um, and Wilshire scores us our first goal of the match there. And Wilshire, you know, he's been playing really well on that right wing. I think he's probably noticed the uh, competition for his slot, so he's going to be playing quite well for us hopefully. And we get the ball back back into Wilshire again, Nicholas Bender tries to get to it here, and just watch this for finesse shots overpowered, that's just an absolutely brilliant goal from him, I don't think he would have scored it in real life, but still, a second goal for us, and Bender gets, um, I think he's still the top scorer in our club, but I'll have to check for you guys, and that brings the end to the game, and an end to the episode, so if, if you've enjoyed this video guys, please leave a like, also subscribe for more FIFA 14 videos, and until next time, I'll see you guys later, bye.